Hi. So in a video I posted last week, I said, I plan to make instructional videos that one could use to teach persons with Parkinson's disease to follow the protocol in a clinical trial. I want to start with the swim lane diagram that shows the process of enrollment. The title is Metabolic Lifestyle Changes to Treat Parkinson's Disease Symptoms and to Modify Progression. This covers the enrollment process. The swim lanes show different people's tasks. There's a patient, a research manager, an exercise specialist, a nutritionist, and the principal investigator. It starts with the patient reading the recruitment brochure and deciding whether they want to continue or not. They might go to a website or call phone number they see in the brochure and fill in a little bit of information that shows that they are qualified. If they qualify, the research manager then would administer the informed consent process and signing of the HIPAA documents. Next, the research manager identifies adaptations that must be made for this participant. Are they in assisted living? Will the facility be able to accommodate changes in menus? Are they able to use a touch screen or smartphone? Do they have a partner or caregiver that desires to assist with the trial? Then the participant sees the principal investigator for an examination and to identify symptoms to track. This is followed by a visit with the nutritionist who determines the recommended amount of protein. The nutritionist works with the participant to prepare menus and identify morning fats that the participant would find appealing. They deal with religious issues, vegetarian, vegan issues, there are several issues that the nutritionist must address, and they differ broadly from patient to patient. So the nutritionist may end up meeting with the participant several times to work through these issues. Next, the participant sees the sports physiologist, and they work out the various adaptations for exercise. The last step in the enrollment process is for the research manager to prepare a customized getting started kit. The kit contains vitamins and minerals, a health tracking watch, continuous glucose monitor, a ketone monitor that you blow into, kit for testing blood glucose and ketones, and trays to pack your medication and supplements so that you can audit whether you took the dose. It also includes recipes that the patient chose and daily journal sheets customized with the patient's symptoms and medications and times to check. The next phase is getting started. The nutritionist will work with the participant to select recipes, make meal plans, and make a grocery list. The exercise expert will make sure they have access to proper exercise. The research manager will assign each patient to a random treatment group. There's a new role on the swim lane diagram. That is the coach. The coach is the first person to contact if the participant needs help. The coach will help them load medications and vitamins and minerals into weekly trays. The coach will assist with the phone app for the smartwatch. The coach will assist with installing the continuous glucose monitor app on the smartphone. The participant buys groceries and packs their medications. Then the participant starts to maintain a journal, takes pictures of what they ate, makes the short video for the doctor to analyze. However, they don't make any of the changes to diet or exercise or fasting overnight. They just do what they normally would do for the first five days. This gives us a baseline. Once the baseline information is captured, the participant stops eating excessive carbs and excessive protein for five days. The next five days, they add skipping breakfast and start taking their morning fats. The next five days they add exercise and finally if they are in the ketone ester group they will start taking ketone ester. That is what enrolling and getting started might look like if there was a clinical trial. In my next video I hope to show you just what a day looks like on the clinical trial.